The following program is rated TV MAL. It contains strong language and is intended only for mature audiences. All right. Now, Coach Prime has done it again. Recently, Coach Dion Primetime Sanders held the very first Colorado Buffaloes team meeting for the year. However, there were two very important pieces of the team that were missing in action. Let's go to this article from glorycolorado.com for more on this story. Coach Prime excused his son's absences from first Colorado football team meeting by Andrew Hughes. Here we go. Coach Prime reportedly gave his blessings for his two sons, Shiloh and Shador Sanders, to miss the first Colorado football team meeting of the year to attend the Louis Vuitton Men's Fall Winter 2024 fashion show per USA Today's Brent Schotenbauer. Their trip to Paris had the blessing of their father coach and was arranged by his business manager, Constance Swartz Marini, who also manages endorsement deals for Shador and Shiloh at Smack Entertainment in Los Angeles. Schottenbar wrote, The Sanders brothers met music and fashion mogul Pharrell Williams while in Paris, France. Williams had a strong message for the two. Despite what they may think or what society tells them, Shiloh and Shador are, are already multidimensional. You already are, Williams told Shador after saying he and Shiloh wanted to be multidimensional. It's just that society makes you think you are not, and you aspire to be other things. But you guys do so many things already. If I were you, I would change that language. I am multidimensional. You know what I'm saying? Let them know you're already there. Colorado football coach, excuse me, Colorado football accused of becoming daddy ball under Coach Prime. The optics of Coach Prime demanding a roster of recruits not to smoke, vape, or even show up late to meetings while his sons are hanging out with celebrities overseas is not ideal. It certainly lends credence to the notion that Coach Prime plays daddy ball in Boulder, an accusation from Mike Farrell of the Mike Farrell sports brand uh, based a sports brand based on a report of a slight fracture in Colorado's locker room. Colorado has become daddy ball in Boulder, more so in regards to Shador than Shiloh. And I'm hearing there's a slight fracture within the program within the program because of it, Farrell wrote. Has Dion ever once criticized his son at quarterback? If he has, I've missed it. And yes, Shador has excellent stats with 3,230 yards and 27 touchdowns with only three interceptions. But how about when he holds on to the ball way too long, as many NFL scouts and GMs are concerned about? Dion blames the offensive line and demotes his offensive coordinator. And when he puts Travis Hunter back in the game with a lacerated liver, but pulls Shador out of the Washington State game for fear he'll get hurt. It becomes more and more obvious that this is about Dion and his sons and not about the team. Colorado football cannot be compromised by such standards, even if the current standard is still miles higher than the pre-prime buffs. Now, before I get into my take on this situation, I want y'all to see the footage from the fashion show. These little nigglets really got a pass from their paid duties at Colorado to model purses and weird clothes at, in Paris at a goddamn fashion show. Let's get to it. Let's get that music off of there. So here we have it. Here's your door. And this is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. The top two players on the team are modeling purses and clothes in Paris, chilling with celebrities while the team, while the rest of the team is at a mandatory meeting. You can't make this up. You can't make this up. Look at this. And every dude on here got a purse on. This is crazy. All right, so I know all the primates are going to get their panties in a bunch over my take on this, but I got to do what I got to do, and I got to say what I got to say. Like I said earlier this football season, Dion is clearly out here playing daddy ball, and this latest stunt is definitely going to bite him in the ass 
at some point. How does your starting quarterback and your best defensive back get to straight up not show up to the first team meeting of the year? And not because of a family emergency or, or an important family event like a wedding or a funeral. Nope. It's so they could be Louis Vuitton fashion models in Paris for Fashion Week. Now, mind you, both of these young men are being paid by Colorado, Colorado University via NIL deals just to be on the team. And somehow, some way, the head coach gives them the nod to go work for someone else and miss what is probably the most important meeting of the year and the meeting that will set the tone for the direction of the team in the 24 2020 uh, excuse me 2024 20, 2025 season i mean this is a crystal clear message to the rest of the players on that team and that's that shiloh and shador get special treatment and that everyone else is only there to support the careers of those two alone i mean honestly Dion is running this organization like a Pop Warner team and it's only a matter of time before the other players start to check out. But what do I know? Look, whether you agree, disagree, or you're different, do me a favor. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, tap that notification bell, and select all. For myself and the rest of the crew here at Trippin' Ain't Easy TV, Peace out. Catch you on the next one.